Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to use the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers to prove that the rectangular solid of maximum volume, which can be inscribed in a sphere of equation x square plus y square plus z square is equal to a square, is a cube. We have a rectangular solid, which is nothing but a cuboid. So we have to take the length, breadth and height. So here, let's take the length as 2x, breadth as 2y, height as 2z. And the volume of a cuboid is volume equal to length into breadth into height. So here it is 2x into 2y into 2z. So volume equal to 8xyz and we have small f of x comma y comma z function is the volume which is 8xyz and g of x comma y comma z is from this pure equation x square plus y square plus z square and this a square we are bringing to the same side which is minus a square. Now we have to write the auxiliary function f. This f is nothing but it is in terms of x, y, z and lambda. That is small f of x comma y comma z plus lambda into g of x comma y comma z. So the auxiliary function f is 8xyz plus lambda into x square plus y square plus z square minus a square. Now we have to find the partial differentiation with respect to x. So the constant is 8yz and here lambda into 2x. Then partial differentiation with respect to y, which is 8xz plus lambda into 2y. Then partial differentiation with respect to z will be 8xy plus lambda into 2z. Then as per the condition and working procedure, we equate this to 0. Then from the first equation, we can carry this 8yz to the other side. So lambda equal to, actually lambda into 2x equal to 8yz. So lambda equal to 8yz by 2x. When I take this to the other side, it will become minus and even here minus. Let's take this as first. From the second equation, the lambda values minus 8xz by 2y. Then from the third equation, lambda is minus 8xy by 2z. So this is our third equation. Now we are going to equate first and second. So both are lambda. So we will equate the other two sides. 8yz by 2x equal to minus 8xz by 2y. So on both the sides, what are possible we can cancel. Minus 8 we can cancel, 2 we can cancel and z we can cancel. If I cross multiply, I have to multiply this y with this y. So we get y square equal to and if we multiply this x and this x, we get x square. Let's take this as the fourth equation. In the same way, let's equate second and third. So minus 8xz by 2y minus 8xz by 2y equal to minus 8xy by 2z minus 8xy by 2z. Once again, we can cancel minus 8, 2, minus 8, 2 and on the both the sides we can cancel x and x. So from the remaining term, if we cross multiply, these two should be multiplied, that is z and this z. 
and at the same time we multiply this y and this y. So totally we get z square equal to y square. Let's take this as the fifth equation. Now from 4 and 5 we get a relation between x, y and z. That is x square equal to y square that is equal to z square. Now we are going to substitute this in the square equation which is x square plus y square plus z square equal to a square. Since all the three are equal, let's keep x square as it is. Instead of y square we can put x square. Instead of z square we can put again x square equal to a square. So it is 3x square is equal to a square and x square equal to a square by 3. So x is equal to a by root 3. So since x square equal to y square equal to z square, from this we can also say x equal to y equal to z. It means when x is a by root 3, we can say y is also a by root 3 and z is also a by root 3. That is all the three are equal. If that is the case, when the x, y, z are equal, then 2x, 2y, 2z will be equal. So length equal to breadth equal to height. So here we got x equal to y equal to z. It means 2x equal to 2y equal to 2z. It means length equal to breadth equal to height. So when length, breadth and height are equal, then this rectangular solid is nothing but cube. Therefore, the rectangular solid is a cube when the volume is when volume is maximum.